the topic we are going to discuss today is called definition of a model and types of models this is one of the topics that is present in the first module so before we understand what is the definition of a model let's see what is a system a system is defined as a group of objects that are joined together in some regular interactions towards accomplishment of some purpose so what this means is a system is a group of objects or variables which usually interact with each other and this interaction accomplishes some purpose for the entire system right so in order to understand the various objects and variables that are present inside a system we need a representation for the system so a model is defined as a representation of a system for the purpose of studying the system right so a system can consist of various parameters and variables which are required for its working representing these variables and parameters in various ways is called as a model of the system so basically what this means is in order to understand the system better we need a representation for the entire system and also to see what a purpose the system is going to accomplish so this representation of the entire system is called as a model so now coming to the next topic of types of models types of models basically there are six types the first type is called mathematical or physical model so all these interactions and objects that you see inside the system can be represented using symbolic notation or mathematical equations hence a mathematical model is defined as a model that uses symbolic notations and mathematical equations to represent a system the second type is called static simulation model so a stat word static itself defines that the model is going to be represented at a particular point of time in the time scale so then the next third type is called dynamic simulation model a dynamic simulation model represents the system as they change over time so as in the time scale as we move forward or backward there are points in the time scale where the objects and their interaction changes so the dynamic simulation model represents these kind of changes the fourth kind of model is called dis dis deterministic simulation model a simulation model that consists of no random variables are classified as deterministic so what that means is the entire model and the variables that are present in them are fixed so when you have a fixed set of inputs obviously the resultant will be unique set of outputs stochastic simulation model stochastic simulation models are one which have one or more random variables as input so since the random variables are provided as inputs the output also will be at random right so the last one is called discrete model and continuous model a discrete model is the one in which the state variables change only at discrete set of points in time example a bank a continuous model is the one in which the state variables change continuously over time example head of water behind the dam so what that means is in a discrete model there are very few set of points in the time scale where the variables inside the system will change whereas continuous models there are lot uh, means there are lot of points in the time scale where the entire models st uh, state variables will be changing thank you